Caroline, and I am back today with another episode of Hashtag Sandy's 13 Frights Before Halloween 2022. It is week nine, y'all. Can you believe this? And boy, how fun has this been on all of the contributors' channels. Today's project is going to be making some Halloween ephemera, and I am going to be using a couple kind of different things for today's project. The first one is an adhesive backed velvet that I purchased from Amazon. It's fairly thin and I'm gonna run that through my die cutting machine with some of our dies. Uh, the other paper that I'm gonna use is this recollections pack here and I'm using this lighter, it's a lighter purple. And then the other one I'm gonna use is this darker kind of jewel tone purple here from this recollections pack. So except for the velvet, which is already adhesive backed, I'm gonna back my other papers using this adhesive. It's a double-sided adhesive. And I'm gonna do that before I run it through the die cutting machine. Now the dies that I'm gonna be using today, I'm not using any stamps, I'm only using dies. And the dies that I'm gonna be using today, some of them are from My Creative Time. Some of them are, this is a mismatch. I've got, uh, I think these are Spellbinders. Yep, there's a Spellbinder set here and that is these here. These stamps here were from a AliExpress purchase, I believe. I don't know, I'll have them linked in the description below. And then I've got a couple other of the My Creative Time sets here. This one is a Witch's Hat Halloween topper. And then I'm also gonna use the October 31st die that came out this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on the back of my paper, run everything through the die machine, and I'll be right back and we'll start assembling them. out all my pieces I've run them all through the die cutting machine and we've sort of weeded out all the little bits and now I'm just gonna start assembling them I did cut a couple of the toppers out of just black paper and I cut a couple out of the shimmer paper I thought that was kind of neat we'll see how it comes together but now I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting everything together it's gonna be super simple because we've got the adhesive on the backing on all of these so all I'm gonna to have to do is peel this off and stick it down. And I'm gonna get these assembled and I'll be right back. super cute ephemera and look how awesome this velvet looks I mean it just I don't I don't know if you guys can see that but the texture that you feel and the way that it looks sort of juxtaposed with this shiny mirrored cardstock it's really cool at least in person it is I'm hoping that it's registering on the camera I really like these bag toppers and the way they turned out this is just so cute so this is what I've got for you guys today, but stay tuned because next week I am going to have a full tutorial for this album here. 
that is based on the four and a half by four and a half album from that series of four that I was going to do way, 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 way back and didn't get done. And I am going to have the full tutorial for y'all next week. So in the meantime, make sure that you're checking out all of the other participants' channels and all of their wonderful creations that they're going to be posting today, too. We are now on week nine, and I expect nothing but amazing things from these wonderful ladies. In addition, make sure that you're clicking on that hashtag, Sandy's 13 Frights Before Halloween 2022. It is a hyperlink and will take you to a listing of everyone that has been inspired by Sandy's wonderful collaboration. And you can post as well. Just go ahead and use that hashtag in your posting so that we can see all of the goodies that you're making too. All right, y'all, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're being kind to yourselves, and I hope you're finding some joy in your journey. Thanks so much, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.